Hi, everybody. Am I live? I can't tell if I'm live or not. I don't see any comments or anything. Oh, dear. I'm hoping you're here. Um, why am I not seeing comments? Let me see on my phone. <laughs> I'm trying this new software and Robert's not here to help me, you guys. I'm sorry. Hang on. Let me see what I can find out. Oh, Gina says hello. Hi, Gina. Um, it, who else is here? Is anybody else here? Chantel says hi, woman. Okay, so maybe it is working right. I just panicked because I can't, uh, because Robert's not here. Um, can you guys hear me okay? Um, oh, good. Live to everybody. Okay, yay. Okay, it's, it's starting to come up now. I was like, oh, my God. Robert's not here, and I'm, I'm already screwing this up. <laughs> so, anyway, welcome, everybody. I am so glad you're here. I am uh, practicing with this software again tonight. Look at all of you. Thank you. Okay, yay. Um, and how is the sound? Because I've got the AC blasting over me, and I, I can't tell. Um, but, uh, let's see. Um, oh, I'm wondering why woman says, found you. Marie, Marie Smith says 29 people. Oh gosh, I'm not seeing that. Um, but yay, yeah, I'm so glad you're here. See, I don't even know where to look, but we'll figure this out to, together. I'm not panicking. I don't, well, I guess I did kind of panic because it's so important to me every week to connect with you guys. It doesn't matter what kind of week I'm having or what's going on in this cray cray world of ours right now. My Friday night lives and being with you guys just really warms my heart. And I love seeing you guys too, Susan and Karen. Uh, she says, she says, no worries. We just love seeing you. So thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, good. Sound. Everybody's weighing in and saying sound is good. I love that. Um, so I will try to remember to pop up the, the comments that I'm uh, talking about. Let's see. Um, Deb M says it's a bit muffled, and um, but I'm getting a lot of that. It sounds okay, so we'll, we'll I'll just have to go with that because I honestly I don't know if I know how to adjust the volume. Anyway, um, Robert showed me, but that little thing on the bottom of my screen isn't showing up tonight for some reason, so I can't adjust anything. <laughs> so. Um, Let's see, I have an image here that it says I'm supposed to share with y'all right now, but I don't even know what it is, so let's see what it is. Oh, oh, that's right. Okay, so I am not at my desk tonight. I don't know, can y'all, let me see if I can make this bigger for y'all. Can y'all see this? This is, uh, this is my view. I am on my bed tonight, and I'm coming to you um, from, the, from the back of the RV, because the front of the RV, Robert, he had to go into town, but the front of the RV, Robert has been working on it all day. We're having to redo the re, uh, the wiring and everything. And so um, it, uh, it, that's what I, my view has been most of the day. <laughs> and uh, so I just wanted to share with y'all that uh, that's why I'm back here. This is the bedroom. Let me see if I can tilt the camera and show y'all Bandit. Um, he is laying in the corner. And Bandit has had a hard week. No, no, not a hard week. Uh, yesterday. We both had a hard day yesterday. Um, I had a, a TBI flare-up and, and have been in, would have probably been in bed anyway today. I'm sorry. I'm like all discombobulated here. Anyway, I would have been in bed today anyway because um, of yesterday having a hard time. Okay, now I think I'm dressed. <laughs> I was trying to mess with this software before I got online and um, I, I, I was... Uh, uh, hurrying so um, and Rob uh, uh, let's see um, Isabel says what a good person he is you know what he really is and I'm so grateful that he has been here with me and um, and, and, and Gina says uh, uh, go Robert and um, and Christine H says God bless you some more Robert and, and I, he just really is a wonderful person and uh, so uh, he reminded me to put the camera on my uh, laptop before he had to leave and everything and say prayers for him because he went into town and this is like the fifth, sixth, seventh try of them trying to get his, um, his um, 
van um, fixed, and they they if he if he can't get his van fixed, I don't know what he's gonna do. And Gina says that my uh, it's buffering a little bit, and there's nothing I can do about it tonight, you guys. So if it is, I hope you'll stick with me, and I hope it settles down. But there's uh, nothing that I'm gonna be able to do about it tonight. Um, so the next thing I want to share with you is my first RV drive. Oh my God, you guys, I got to take her out for a ride yesterday and I couldn't believe it. Um, and, and, and so everybody's saying it's buffering. I, I don't know what to do about it. Um, so, um, hmm, I, um, it shows that it's okay on this end. Um. But I don't know. I don't think there's anything I'm going to be able to do about it. If, it, if I have to, if, if you guys have to go, uh, that's okay. I understand. And um, I, I don't know. Um, I, I may have to start driving to Vegas, uh, which is like an hour away to do these live chats. And, and I hope not. But I, I, will, I promise that I won't um, make this. Um, Y'all keep a... Uh, uh, living with buffering on my channel so anyway um so better now that you're dressed uh, maybe it was because i was wiggling i'll try to be real still so um let's see uh so anyway my first rv drive you guys uh and uh i i loved it my <laughs> you can tell how happy i am driving my rv yesterday and uh the reason that i i drove yesterday was because i had to take um bandit to the vet and also needed to go get propane in um, the RV and um, so I yesterday was my inaugural drive and that's me driving my new RV for the first time yesterday and um, we went in like I said I'll, I'll, t I'll, I'll tell you about uh, Bandit on his update as a topic in a little while, but right now I want to talk about there was no propane, you guys. It was crazy. So um, I had to drive the RV to get uh, propane because um, it, it, it doesn't have, you know, it's not tanks like in a trailer. And so I, I we went to, um, we thought we'd get propane on the way back home from taking, from doing errands and taking Bandit to the vet. And, and I'll tell the, and I'll tell you about um, the Bandit and, and uh, what, what, um, what, what happened with him. But um, let me, let me uh, back up right here and say, um, Vesta Moon is asking how long is the new rig? And it's 23 feet long and so it's about four feet longer than fancy free but not too bad for me so i was able to do it and um and so um let's see uh oh my goodness now i now i forgot what i was saying okay uh squirrel <laughs> i don't remember what i was saying um oh i'll tell you about bandit and him going to the vet in a moment but um, we had to go get propane yesterday, and they're just, uh, we went to, to one place, and, and they, they said that they had run out of propane, and their supplier had gone out of business, and they weren't able to find anybody that would service them where they were. So that place was a no-go. And then we went to a casino nearby that usually has propane, and they uh, said their technician left at three, and so that was a no-go. So we ended up having to drive all the way back into town, and, uh, and it was so hot yesterday, you guys, and I'll, I'll cover that in a minute. But we ended up um, having to drive all the way back into town, and, and, and hold on, um, Lindsay is saying, um, so Lynn says it buffered on, okay. So Lynn says it buffered on Wi-Fi for her, and she switched to cellular, and it's fine. So if uh, anybody's watching this that can do that, and thank you, Lynn, for that suggestion, um, it, it, and uh, uh, maybe that will help. Laura Hudnall says the same thing. She changed devices, and it stopped. She went from her iPad to her iPhone, and so uh, maybe that, uh, that, that will work. Uh, and Gina, who uh, is the wonderful person, her and her husband, that have worked with me on uh, uh, selling me this wonderful rig, 
says the rig drives nice doesn't it and yes gina oh my god it drove so nice I, it was heaven and um so uh in in uh but but i was talking to you guys <laughs> oh look at melissa melissa says you were talking about no propane <laughs> thank you melissa because i do do the squirrel thing and um so um it, it, so we went to two places and then we had to go all the way back into town and so on the way into town I started calling around to make sure that wherever we went was going to be open and have a technician and have propane. Who knew that it would be such a problem? And so the first place I called is some place that normally always has propane. Well, they do have propane, but they said, nope, our technician is off today. And then I called another place and they said, no, we're not going to be doing propane anymore. And so then uh, they referred me to Tractor Supply. And so we finally ended up at tractor supply and you can see the girl coming out there on on the right to to fill that up and um it, and so i finally was able to get propane in the rig but oh my gosh you guys who knew that getting rope propane would be such a problem it is in, it is crazy um and um so uh i i that that's just crazy i i don't know how how that happened um let's see oh you know what i did carrie joe says there's a bunch of people in another place waiting for you deborah and i know what i did now i i again robert wasn't here to uh help me and so i i logged on live from here instead of doing it live from the one that was scheduled so um i i really messed up if one of my mods can, I don't, if there's two uh, lives going right now, if people are waiting at another spot, and I don't know how y'all are going to do that, but if one of y'all can hop over to the other place and just tell them to log off of that one and uh, try to find me on here, I, I kind of messed up. <laughs> I probably should not try to do this, but it's so fun to be able to share pictures and everything with you guys. And, um, and I, I just, it's like, uh, I live in the RV local life says she, uh, she likes her, my hair. Thank you. It's, it's, I, I got to do something with it. It's, it, it, um, it's my haircut and Gina helped me with it, but it is, um, it, it's a mess right now. <laughs> and I end up just spraying it and wetting it down and, and scrubbing it back. So, um, it, I thank you very much. And Jan is on here. She says that she is finally made it no internet for a year. And I do remember you, my darling. Welcome back. I appreciate that. Uh, glad you're here. And so, um, uh, let's see. Um, let's see. What else have I got? Oh, that was the propane picture. And so, um, anyway, I, I'm sorry that I... Um, uh, did two live streams instead of the one that I had scheduled and uh, Lynn McKenzie told Princess Princess that I am selling fancy free and I am uh, going to sell fancy free and I will be doing a video about it soon and I don't have the flyer on here I think tonight to to show you I, I should have kept it uh, let me see um, I might have it uh, but I am going to be selling Fancy Free. Uh, let's see, is this it? Yes, I'll be selling her for $6,500. And that includes all the solar uh, battery, the build out, uh, the solenoid. Um, I mean, just all of these things that you can see listed here uh, will go on there. So I hope I hope that answered your, your question. Um, about what am I going to do with Fancy Free? And that leads me into viewer questions. Let's answer some of our viewer questions tonight. Let me see before I do that if I have uh, anything to catch up on. Um, and um, let's see. Brenda says, oops, we were on the other post. I know, I, I, I messed up and hit live, going live on the wrong thing. And so um, Robert will show me, he'll be leaving soon, but before he leaves town, he'll show me how to um, uh, do this again. He, he got called out, like I said, to go to uh, his um, um, mechanic and, and it's imperative that he gets his van fixed. And if he can't get his van fixed, we don't know what he's gonna do, but uh, 
Uh, Arthur Leslie says he told them, Deborah. Thank you so much so that everyone comes over here. I really appreciate it. And I, again, I am so sorry, <laughs> you guys. Thank you for being here and for hopping over and for trying to find me when I log on to the wrong place. So once again, let's do fewer questions right quick. Uh, my, my friend Gray, I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but my friend Gray Lemons, she says, have you combined, uh, and this is going back to the, um, to that overlanding video, and um, I'm just going to pop this up. Uh, it, it, um, uh, so many people, Anne is saying she was on the other channel and uh david was on the other channel and and even um and even one of my mods i am so sorry noreen was on the other channel hi mod and by the way let me just give a shout out to my mods i i love you guys and i have the most awesome mods in the world and even when they can't find me <laughs> you guys tolerate me so well and i really appreciate it and um let's see and uh you guys this this one i'm going to pop up here right quickly this is my great niece alicia she is uh coming to you guys from texas and she's asking her aunt deborah how i'm doing and i'm doing great darling i miss you i love you and uh anyway uh thank you all for hopping over here so let me get back to viewer questions and i've got gray asking and this is my good friend have you considered having a couple people, uh, friends, buy property around you? It could be independently owned and makes the uh, total acreage uh, usable and uh, larger. And on Monday, I'm going to have a, and thank you, Gray, for asking that. On Monday, I'm going to have my video up, the, the final answer on property and what happened. Uh, the auction has taken place, and I'm sorry to do a tease. Uh, but that has to be a whole video by itself, and so I actually address why I didn't go that route and what you can do in the video, so you guys be sure and jump over there and check that out. And so um, I hope I say this name right. This one is uh, I, Amos, Amos, maybe, Amos H or Amos H. Um, she says, or he says, I'm kind of new here, Deborah. But are you still living on 600 a month and how can you afford to buy land and before everybody jumps on that i want you to say that i want to say that's a great question and be, there was some comments that went on below that and this person was asking from the good of their heart and it is a good question and i'm going to tell you why i'm going to i'm going to answer it and i'm going to tell you why it's important and why i'm going to answer it but first i have to share share that I got a lot of trolls asking the same thing and this person was not being a troll and I'm going to answer that and um and so uh and so I um I'm, I'm going to answer that but I got to share with you I got a lot of trolls and I'm going to share this one with you because I, you can tell from the length of my answer that I got really chapped because you know I they were slamming van dwellers in general and uh you know saying something about a 300 dollars water filter and that person angel reed um when i slammed her back she did, she deleted her own comment and so i'm not worried about trolls i'm not answering this because i feel like i have a, a, a responsibility to answer those dang trolls at all you know haters are going to hate and they're, they're going to just be what they're going to be but um amos h and i again i hope i'm saying this name right it has a valid question because I have publicly shared my budget because I think it's important because so many people say, you know, you can come out here and do this on a dime and, and you know, and I've always said that the more money you have, well, in life in general, but the more money you have, the better it's going to go for you and that it is challenging. And I have shared that I was living on 600 a month. That is true. After my trustee pays my bills, like my car insurance and stuff like that, uh, then I had been living on 600 a month with Social Security raises and everything now. That's about 700 I think. Um, and plus we got a discount on uh, insurance and I'll be getting even a more discount on my RV insurance. So anyway, it's about 700 a month. And I think it's important that people understand these people that, that, that say that need to know that that, that that doesn't include paying bills and everything, at least for me. Like, that, like I said, the insurance and and um, my uh, 
uh, Medicare stuff and, and, out and, and things like that. And uh, somebody pointed out that I have YouTube income and I'm an author and everything and I need to put a new book out and, and I'm working on that. It was supposed to be out this month, but I did. I moved and bought a new RV. So uh, my co my writing partner and I are, are a couple of weeks behind on that, but we're still hoping to have it out by the end of the month. Um, so I don't have any residual income from that right now. But um, YouTube, I share publicly. I make about 200 a month. Y'all help me grow my channel. Hit that like button tonight and share my videos. Every chance you get, the more you, you share them on social media, the more my channel grows. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. But um, so I, I now live on, uh, after bills are paid by my trustee, I now live on about 700 a month. And then I make about 200 from YouTube. And somebody shared with her that I was buying land through auction and it was dirt cheap. And that is true. And I have this fabulous home in this wonderful RV because my um, uh, best friend, Gina, and what wonderful mod on here worked with me, she and her husband, on and worked with David, my trustee, on a payment plan that I could afford. And uh, Robert just popped in. So he says, uh, he, he I told him, Robert, about your... Uh, getting, hoping you're getting your van fixed and we've all got our fingers and toes crossed for you and, and sending up prayers, buddy, because we know that this is, this is it, um, that it has to happen. So, so, so good. And um, let's see, um, living the RV local life asks, who do you have insurance with? And yes, I'm a transparent person. I don't mind sharing things like that, but I, I honestly can't remember. I'm not dodging the question. If you want to email me, tbivangirl at gmail.com, um, I, I will look, I will find out, uh, but I'm going to be changing anyway because I'm, well, I don't know if I'll change anyway. They might have RV insurance, but I'm changing over to RV insurance, so I'm, I might be changing that anyway. So, uh, and, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, so you guys ignore Wick. Uh, he says, there's the groom to be. I, you know what? That's a great way to get rumors started because look at this. Anne's like, oh my God, did I miss something? No, nobody has missed anything. You guys cut it out. Y'all are hilarious. Um, and <laughs> even my moderator and bestie, Gina's like, what? That is, that is too, too, too funny. Um, and so, um, <laughs> now you got me rattled. All right. So we are working on viewer questions. And, and now you made me blush. He, I, I can't imagine. I'm so glad Robert's not here. Uh, he's out in the middle of the desert somewhere getting his van worked on. So um, uh, let's see here. It, uh, so the next question that I want to uh, answer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also from that overlanding video, uh, Victoria Hinton says, what? No boondocking, no traveling. Uh, you have electricity and water and everything. And so um, I, I, I didn't mean to say that I was not going to do uh, boondocking or traveling anymore. I'm in an RV and I bought an RV purposely that fits for Bandit and I so that we can, 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 can continue our travels and definitely will. And um, I won't be able to do the, the overlanding boondocking anymore. Uh, but you can still do a lot of wonderful boondocking and uh, get out in remote and quiet areas. And... I definitely will uh, be doing that, Vic Victoria. And as far as electricity and water and everything, uh, you guys, uh, please, I know I sound like a broken record, but please, please, please watch Monday's video about the final outcome on the property search and, um, and everything that I learned. And, um, oh, Gina, good deal. And <laughs> I need to find, we'll, we'll, we'll talk later, but um, I need to find out where the insurance card is. I was thinking that yesterday when I was driving, I was like, I don't know where the insurance card is because right now it's still on uh, Gina and Jeff's and, until I get it switched over. So um, that that's too funny. Um, and uh, travels, it's so good to see you on here. And she's just kidding, you guys. She, she's a she's she's a friend and she came to my meetup in Cedar Hill and uh, it was so good to see you and meet you and it's good to see you on here travels and then uh, my good friend Brian in Texas to Sturgis well I just dropped by to see what condition your condition is in I'm, I'm doing pretty good 
I'm doing dang good. Um, so let's see what else we have. Uh, I wish I could see this better, but I just, maybe if I move this, hang on you guys. Oh, there, there we go. So, um, and, and then also on, um, uh, uh, Tina uh, Pettis says, beautiful RD, RV, how long is it? 23 feet. And it looks big on the inside, lots of windows. She has a class C 24. And uh, she makes a good point about the difference in RV living um, versus van living. You guys, I love, love, love Fancy Free. You know I do. She served me so well, and I'm going to miss her. And uh, there was nothing wrong with van dwelling. But just like uh, uh, Tina is sharing here, the the amenities and the luxuries and the, and the things that you have, the kitchen, the shower, the standing up, the playing with your dog, when he's not in a bad mood like he is tonight, and I'm going to share why he's in a bad mood on his bandit update. Um, but um, it, it, it's just, I, I, I um, it's been a long time coming, and I wouldn't trade my five years of full-time van dwelling for anything. But I, I literally still tear up every day that this is my home. So um, um, it, I, I just, I, I really am enjoying it, and. Um, uh, let's see what else. I'm trying to see if I missed anything. I um, I don't have um. Oh, Letty is on here. Hi, Letty. There's so many people. I don't want to miss anybody, but I can't say hi. There's so many of you, and I'm just so thrilled. Uh, thank you so much for being on here, and thank you for the thumbs up, everybody. And um. In uh, No Drama Mama, I haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you on here. And my good friend, Beth. Uh, Beth, you'll forever be known as the one with the bear on the front porch. <laughs> That's my, my when I stayed at her Colorado cabin with her. Uh, so good to see everybody on here. And um, Carrie, Carrie Jo says, where can I find the listing for Fancy Free? I haven't made the video or anything yet. Um, uh, at Carrie Jo, I haven't put her out there anywhere publicly i've been too busy moving in and getting set up here and um so email me at tbi uh van T what is my email address tbi van girl at gmail.com and i'll send you that flyer and have any discussions with you um about um uh fancy free and 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 her being for sale and um Alyssa wants to know what is wheelbase and I don't know what that means, Alyssa. I'm sorry. Hopefully somebody will answer you. I, 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 I don't know what that means. Um, so, and, and uh, I just want to clarify, Beth, that it's happy tears. Tears of joy. It's, uh, it's, it's awesomeness. And, uh, and Letty says she can't wait for my meetup. And, oh, my gosh, won't it be great if we can still hold a meetup? It's not till December, so let's keep our fingers crossed. And, um, let's see, what else? Um, eh, I just, uh, I don't, I don't know if I'm missing something. Robert says exactly right, Doreen. Oh, about the, oh, he's saying because Doreen said as you get older, these things in a class C are nice to have and easier on the body. That is so very true. <laughs> All right, you guys, let me get back to, um, my uh oh thank you noreen noreen put up my email and for anybody that needs that because uh i couldn't remember it i've been thinking about changing my because i'm not van girl anymore right i've been thinking about changing my um uh uh oh uh what do you call it um my email name and everything because i um uh, I'm not TBI Van Girl anymore. Oh my goodness, Gina's telling me I missed a super chat tip from Lucretia burning up the roads. I'm so sorry, I didn't see it pop up. So um, anyway, uh, thank you so much, Lucretia. Um, I really appreciate that. And Anne says, where's the December meetup? You can go to my website and under DebraDickinson.com and to the meetups and um, it, it will have it there. It had the listing of all my meetups for the year that I had to cancel because of the uh, Arona Cray Cray. Uh, right now, I'm still planning on holding my, this will be my fourth annual meetup, you guys. And it has tripped, not tripled, doubled. Well, one year it did triple. But anyway, 
um, every year, and it's just a lovely meetup, and it is December 6th through 12th in Quartzsite, Arizona. So uh, please be sure and go to my website and check that out. Um, um, Alyssa says, I meant what is the wheelbase of your RV? I, I, I don't know what that means. The length of my RV, I, I think, if you're, I, is 23 feet. Is that the same thing? Um, and uh, several people are asking me about the air conditioner. So let me get back to, uh, it's, it's blowing cool right now. Let me get back to my viewer questions and I'll answer that. Um, so, um, let's see, uh, oh, actually, that's going to be the weekly spotlight for tonight, so, um, Gypsy Soul Wonders, Wonders, do you ever plan to go back to Sticks and Bricks? I do not. I love this lifestyle so much, and the luxury of being able to have, um, everything, literally being able to stand up in the shower and everything, um, I can't imagine that I will go back to sticks and bricks. And since I don't have to worry about being in assisted living anymore, as long as my Aircept keeps working, I, I just can't, I can't imagine me going back to uh, sticks and bricks. So uh, Victoria Mora says she's heading out. That's a shame. Um, I, I, but, but thank you for being here, and it was good to see you, and thank you for saying bye. Um, and let's see. Uh, your email name is fine in a van RV tiny home it all works uh, so I would said I was thinking about changing my name but okay I'm gonna just tell you I was I, I was gonna run this by my patrons but I'm gonna tell you all tonight I'm thinking about say, changing things to uh, Deborah does RV life what do y'all think I just love that it makes me laugh every time I say it Deborah does RV life at gmail.com it'll be that it'll it'll change over to that on um, Oh, uh, Noreen put my link up. Thank you. Noreen, you're so awesome. Thank you. Um, but anyway, if it's buffering you guys, I'm sorry. I can't do anything about it. But thank you for putting up that, that link. And um, see, it just the air, con uh, the air conditioner just went out. So, um, and it, 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 uh, it just does. It, it goes in and out. So, um, Hello, YouTube 541 says Oregon meetup was fun, and yes, it was. We had a blast, and I'm so glad that you were there. And uh, living living simply is bliss for sure, Peter and Kodiak. Thank you. Um, uh, so Deb says she doesn't think I have a long wheelbase. I don't know. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. I feel. I I know I should. Um, that's just my brain not not connecting dots. So, all right. So let's see what else I have here. Oh, you guys, this is fun. All right. So this is this is fun. Y'all are gonna enjoy this. So um, th uh, this is from uh, Patricia Burke, and uh, Patricia, I always appreciate your comments. Uh, she th thought that my van looks beautiful, and so many of you did. Thank you for all of the wonderful uh, comments and everything. Um, so uh, she says, I like the neutral colors. They are restful. And yes, you guys, they are. And so people were split. You know, I showed you a, a, some panels um, uh, uh, last last week. I mean, some, some strips that I might consider for colors. <laughs> and so um, it, people were split. And so like Jean Roberts says, she, she loves the colors. But if it were me, she would uh, keep the bedroom white and uh, stay, and, and the others seemed a bit bright. Oh my God, you guys, for me, those colors were way too bright. We painted two walls out of those two colors, and, and, and I, I, that I, I should have gotten a picture of it, and I thought I did have a picture, but, but I don't. I was going for something like this. Can y'all see kind of it's still gray and white and kind of a... A pale color or you know and then it still has these neutrals I picked these out of a magazine or something I don't know but I was going for uh, colors like that and what I chose was we painted uh, just two little sections just little bitty sections and it's like Wah! screaming colors oh my god I saw so I went and bought some white kills and I'm gonna paint over that I can't even tell y'all how bright it turned out. 
but um, and and uh, so uh, oh Tanya says if it makes you happy and puts a smile on your face go for it and that applies to colors too but I think she's she, referencing that the Deborah does um, uh, Deborah does RV life <laughs> I I think I am going to do that I'm getting I'm getting too many people that are saying it's funny uh, so I think I'm going to switch from TBI Van Girl to Deborah does RV life. <laughs> and, and see how well that uh, 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 goes over. And uh, Ch Chuck, my good friend Chuck and Letty are on here. And Chuck says the best part is to stand up, stand up, stand up. It has changed my life, Chuck. I'm unbelievably so. Um, and so, anyway, I just had to share with y'all about those colors because it just was, was really crazy. Uh, let's see, what's this? Oh, okay, I've got, oh, next, oh, okay. So let me see, um, so Texas to Sturgis says, where is Bandit this evening? And I, uh, and, and, and Gina says he is sleeping next to Deborah. That is true, and thank you, Gina, for, for answering that because I might have missed it. He is down here. He is sleeping in the corner. He's hiding in the corner. He's got to go back to the vet in the morning. He is okay. Uh, let me see, um, and uh, Carrie Jo says my, she likes my colors. They're very peaceful. Uh, and, and, and Bandit is in heaven with the floor space. And, he, and Freddie's still working on his. Freddie, we're going to talk about the heat here in the Mojave Desert in a moment. But, yes, it has been hot in a lot of places. And Noreen says, even in the pictures, my colors look very bright. Oh, my God, you guys. When I got those on the wall... I can't, it's like I couldn't even sleep that night. <laughs> almost had to go put a sheet over them or something. So uh, what I'm got maybe what I'll do next time before I, I color anything, since you guys uh, uh, get that uh, that's not what I was looking for. And uh, Joni is sharing that I can even um, uh, put white paint in it and, and tone it down. Um, I, you know, I'm, I might could, but I think I better go with just a whole different uh, palette in uh, Sue says use the lightest chip. I, you know, I'm gonna have to do something because that was that was crazy. Um, it, oh, and Pearl says she cut her colors in half or quarter tint, which is what what was just shared. So I I'll have to try that. I don't I don't know these tricks or I, I may have when I own sticks and bricks. I, I think I hired all that painting done. But the other thing I did was off of some shelves that uh, it cut. Um, uh, for his van, I saved some of the scrap wood, and I'll make sure that I paint those from now on and bring them in and let them stay overnight or something. And um, uh, because Deborah Van Zandt says what white colors are what I want, I, I tell you what what I, what I didn't want was those screaming. Oh my God, it's just so awful. So I'm going to paint those white until I until I figure out what I am going to do. <laughs> okay, you guys, let's do a bandit update because he deserves his spotlight. And um, so, oops, I, uh, I hit the wrong, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, let's do a, a bandit update. Where'd I go? I missed, I hit something. I hit the wrong thing. There we go. Band, let's do a bandit update because he deserves, after what he went through yesterday, and then me too, I ended up having a, a, a TBI episode, and um, he deserves his spotlight. And so I'll catch all up. Uh, why does bandit need to go to the vet and, and all that? Um, so, um, let's see, where am I, uh, I'm losing track over here. Okay, so we went and met our new vet yesterday. There's two vets in this office, and, um, and, um, it, it, uh, it, it they, he was wonderful, but you can see, uh, Bandit's little face there. He, he did not handle it well. In fact, you guys... <laughs> They've got a, a, he's been doing so good, and I, I just, I think because it was a new vet, and it was, they, but they're so, so wonderful there, but I, he, 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 he bit, he, he tried to bite the, the tech, he tried to bite the vet, he growled at me, the groomer, because we're going to have to sedate him to groom him, uh, the groomer came in, and he growled and tried to bite at her, and uh, so it, it just it just really 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 uh, it didn't go well. And um, let's see what is this image? Oh, that's that's the vet. And uh, so it, I took him in because he's been having tummy issues. He is he is much better. 
uh, his tummy's better, but I already had, oh, and I wanted to show y'all, y'all can see this up here. So I, I'm backing up a little bit because I just squ squirrel. I saw all of these in the store, in, in, the, in the hardware store. I got all these paint books. So I'll be figuring all the paint out. I, I just saw those up there and I, and I forgot to show y'all. So I got to do that. But um, poor little bandit. So his tummy is better. But um, he, um, it, um, it, it, I, I wanted him to go ahead and meet his new vet. And, and plus I needed to check. They have a groomer there uh, and, and the vet can work with if he needed to be sedated and everything. And sure enough now, of course, uh, he's got to have, um, he's, he's got this long curly hair all around his butt. The rest of his body short and curly. But around his butt, he's got this long curly hair. And in our triple digit weather and, and with all the sand and everything, he, um, he, he really needs to have that groomed and they need to do it, cut his nails. They couldn't even take his temperature or do anything yesterday. So I'm going to have to take him in back in um, to, to have, uh, to get all that done. And you guys look at this just to get him sedated for the grooming uh, to, tomorrow. I, I'm, I, I got to pay $200. And um, so at my little boy, when he is moody, he is, he turns into Cujo and it just didn't go well. And so the only way that they will do all of that is to sedate him. And so he's got, he goes back in the morning. I'm going to have to drop him off. I haven't had to drop him off or, or leave him somewhere since he had his emergency surgery uh, where they had to correct. Um, I, for those of you that might be, um, it, 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 if for those of you that might be um, uh, new to my channel, he had an emergency surgery shortly after I got him because it, he had had a DIY neuter job done on him. And they they did what they could in the shelter until he was adopted out. And they said, you need to take him to a vet right away and have that checked out. And, and he had to have emergency surgery to have all of that uh, corrected. And so um, he... he uh, that's the only time I've ever had to drop him off, but I have to drop him off tomorrow, and I'm I'm uh, uh, I'm I'm sad about that. So uh, and, I, and I'm worried about him getting sedated. But Christine says was the vet for regular checkup. It started off that it was for um, a, a tummy issue he was having, but it cleared up before the appointment. And but I um, took him in so he could meet the vet and everything, and to ask them if there's any way they could help me because um, his he, his his butt is uh, long curly hair and kind of matted. And I wanted to know if they'd help me. And they're like, yeah, no, we're, we're sedating that puppy. So anyway, um, he, was, he was scared. And I, um, so um, uh, Susan and Karen says, oh, he was scared. And he was scared. And, and so I, I felt sorry for him. He has been to the vet before. So it, like he got, I don't know if y'all remember, but he got a huge thorn stuck in his paw when we were in the desert in um, Arizona. And uh, it was after the van build, and I took him to the vet there, and he did just fine. In fact, she thought that uh, I, I was uh, I, I'm exaggerating when I told him that he might bite and everything because he, he did so well. And so, um, I'm I, mods, be careful. I think I'm picking up a few uh, uh, trolls on here. And I just want to say that anybody that lives full-time in an RV of any type is not homeless. They have a home right over there roof right over their head so just like anybody else uh so gina says her ernie used to need a muzzle but he's good at the vet and that is wonderful i think that bandit will it, 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 I, we've been remodeling i moved um it, it was a new place i think he'll get over it but uh anyway um uh, I, I, I was scared and reverted and and that's what i'm saying deborah he'll get he'll get used to it again and um and, and, and I think he'll be okay, but man, okay, so Lori is saying, oh my God, they charge so much. I, I, I don't know. I've never had to have a dog sedated uh, just for uh, uh, like the grooming and the nails, and they're going to, of course, clean, clean, his, clean his ears and all of that. They're going to be able to get a temperature and, and, and do um, all of that, so um, I, uh, I, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know what the normal cost would be for that. But to get my dog taken care of, I'm, I'm happy to pay that. But I, 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 that's what I thought. I thought, oh, my God. I, but, I, but I'm happy to do whatever uh, Bandit needs doing. 
And so uh, Stoney Jenkins is saying a DIY neutering. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Some people are assholes. That's all I can say. And he was a, an abused dog. And, you know, we've got a lot of people in this country right now that are showing uh, their true colors and not being nice even to other humans. And what people do to other animals sometimes is uh, insane. He was a bait dog, and they did a DIY neuter job on top of that. And uh, so he has come such a long way, and I am so proud of him. Um, and so I'm going to have to go back through and read what all y'all are saying about colors and everything because um, um, I, I, um, I, I need to learn from you guys. And Lori says her vet is charges sixty dollars. The walk in here, or the the appointment here, is forty five. Emergency up front uh, walk in if you just walk in, and it's emergency is ninety five. But their normal office visit is uh, forty five. Um, so uh, uh, Noreen says maybe go by there in the future and let them give him cookies. And and, and I thought about that, um, Noreen, and we'll probably do that after this. Uh, uh, but um, I, I kind of wanted to see if I was going to stick with them first, and, and then I'll start acclimating them to it. But that's a, that's a great idea. Thank you. Um, okay, so what's next? And thank you guys for... Uh, okay, so Denise says, why don't they just put a muzzle on him, and it'll be $150 cheaper. One, to uh, try to groom a dog like they're going to have to groom a, a bandit. Uh, through through this uh, in in uh, that whole time have a muzzle on would be very traumatic, and because uh, Bandit was a bait dog and they used to wrap him, um, the the vet said probably in Kevlar and drop him down into the uh, fighting pit. Uh, any type of wrapping like that would just be beyond traumatic. I can't imagine doing that to him. So um, I that, that just uh, wouldn't work, I don't think. So, um, but thank you for for thinking of the, of that and, and, and asking. Um, so, uh, I don't know. I think I'm I'm caught up on comments. I appreciate it. And let's see. Uh, what else? Um, Oh, Kat says, sorry, I'm late. You're all right. You're not late. You're here. And I'm glad everybody, I'm glad everybody here is here. I've got 97 thumbs up so far, and I really, really appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And if you would share my video so that my channel can grow, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, and Marie says, he's never been to this vet. Should be leery of sedation. Uh, Any time that I used to work as a vet uh, at a vet uh, clinic, Marie. Any time that you sedate any hu any animal, human or four-legged, it, it it is a risk. But I, of course, checked these vets out before I took him. I know several people that have used them. I looked at all of the Yelp reviews. I went by there ahead of time and met the staff. Uh, I I wouldn't be taking my dog anywhere. Uh, that I needed to be leery of. So, no, I, I'm not leery of the situation at all. Um, and uh, I'm getting behind on comments. Sorry. <laughs> I love how y'all are all talking to each other. That is so awesomeness. And uh, let's see. Um, all right. So, let me see what else is next. I think that was it for Bandit. Okay, now let's talk about the weekly spotlight. Oh my God, you guys were asking up front um, uh, uh, whether or not uh, 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 whether or not the AC was working. Well, the AC is working, and I see. Did I? But today it got up to 108 outside. Yesterday it got up to 116. You guys. And um, it, it's uh, got up to almost 90 here in the in the rig, which isn't too bad. But um, it it it, uh, it, it uh, I got conversations going on. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, which isn't too bad actually. I've had far worse in fancy free. Uh, but with the uh, oh, that's the wrong one. But the um, I this is ice on my air conditioner. That's the uh, cab air conditioner, 
And um, so it freezes over sometimes. And I got that corrected. We we got I cleaned the inside, and Robert went up top and took took the top off, and, and we cleaned that and made sure you got to be level for an air conditioner for an RV air conditioner, and made sure all of that was in place and that everything was taken care of. But it still goes in and out. It'll blow cold for a while, and then it quits. And so I got a referral, and I called an AC guy, and and he's going to be coming out. But you guys, yesterday, it got up to 116 yesterday, and um, I uh, 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 I want to, uh, so Peter and Kodiak are saying, uh, where are you now? And I am in the Mojave Desert in, in Nevada, and uh, so um, uh, I'm, I'm trying to see, uh, so I'm in the Mojave Desert in Nevada, and oh, Christine says maybe get a banded a cheeseburger. I do that. I go through Sonic and I get a, a double meat and I ha meat cheeseburger and I have meat and cheese and he has the other uh, patty. Um, uh, so um, I, we do that sometimes and, and I'll do that and I'll, I'll, I'll tell him it, it was from you, Christine. <laughs> and um, let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Um, I think, uh, oh, uh, that is so sweet. Uh, Pearl says, uh, good mommy. Thank you. I appreciate that. And um, uh, Peter, I think I just answered your um, uh, question on where I am, but I'm a little confused right now. Oh, Cardiz, um, thank you. Uh, a super chat uh, from Cardiz, thank you. I will use that uh, tomorrow for... Um, bandits um appointment and um so um let's see uh oh uh, it's going too fast i can't keep up um oops sorry oh gosh i'm, I'm hitting the wrong stuff sorry gina would you delete that comment for me that you just put up about the county i'd appreciate it i can't seem to be able to do that um, I don't mind uh, sharing. I'm in Nevada, but I in in the Mojave Desert. But I try not to give exact locations because I've got I'm getting some really bad emails, and have some people that are trying to track me or saying that they are, and they are not being nice. And I just don't want to take any chances. So um, if you'll delete that, I'd appreciate it. And we won't share things like that in the future. And Lori says that she sent me um, a cash on a PayPal. She's my coffee partner, y'all. She's the one that gave me the uh, squirrel picture. I think I have the, uh, I don't. I don't, may not have the picture of it. There it is. I'll see if I can get it up there. She's the one that sent me this sign and that's going to go um, on my coffee center. So thank you for the PayPal uh, super chat tip through PayPal, Lori. Appreciate you, my darling. All right, let me see if I can get caught up where I was. I forgot what I was talking about. Can anybody remind me? I'm getting a little scattered. And Oh, that's what I was going to show you. Here, so, okay, so yesterday, <laughs> okay, you guys, wait for this. So my air conditioner, they're coming out Tuesday to look at this, and, well, God, we'll see what happens on that. But then, And it's just part of home ownership. I don't care whether you're in sticks and bricks or what you're, you live in, right? If you, if, you're in a, if you own a home. You have expenses. I'm not complaining. It's just, it is what it is. I can't complain. Look at my wonderful life. But um, so yesterday it got up to 116. Today it got up to 108. It's going to start cooling down for about a few days. But that's going to be my summer. I, I've chosen to uh, uh, make my home base in the desert. And so um, I'm not the most ridiculous picture you've <laughs> ever seen. Um, but. Um, Anyway, so um, I, I, I did that, and I'll come back to some of these questions in a moment at the end of the, of the um, uh, that you guys are asking. I, I see somebody else asking me about solar and all that. I'll come back to that guy, to, to you guys in a minute. Dad, no, in my world, that's not too bad, and um, so uh, I, it, it really isn't, but um, it, let's see. Um, oh, I, oh, Cardiz, thank you. Just got a super chat tip from her seven pound chihuahua, Chloe, to Bandit. I love that so much. And so does Bandit when he recuperates. 
oh, we have to be there at 7.30 in the morning, you guys, to take Bandit in. So, oh, prayers, please. <laughs> but thank you, Cardiz. That is wonderful. Um, that is great. So, um, let me see. Uh, oh, Beth says, I'm trying to figure out where you are in your RV. Are you sitting in the back? I am, and I don't think, I think it went out of focus. Did it, did it go out of focus? I can't tell. But I am sitting in the back, Beth, because uh, Robert has been having to rewire things, and the whole front of the RV is messed up. And he got called out to hurry up and get his, his, his van to hopefully get it repaired to his, his mechanic. So, um, anyway, um, so I really, uh, um, um, I'm sitting in the back so that he didn't have to put stuff up. I told him not to worry about that. But it's kind of fun. Bandit's back here sleeping anyway, so I get to be next to him. So, um, and let's see, I'm going to catch up now uh, on some, uh, uh, wait, uh, everybody's talking about the heat, and I know, um, and uh, it, it is hot, but uh, I'm trying to catch up, y'all hang with me, um, let's see, oh, I just love some of the comments, thank you. And, um, uh, <laughs> Beth also says, I can't imagine any air conditioner trying to keep up in an area, trying to keep an area cool in those extreme temperatures. It, it, it does, it, it's not too bad. It, 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 um, and, and those day, the triple digit days are, are, they do come along, but they're not that, that much. I don't often that I don't think. Gina has lived in Las Vegas for a long time, so she can probably uh, answer that better that, than I can. Oh, um, my friends Steve and Beverly are on here. We love you. Please give sweet bandit hugs from us. I will. He'll take all the hugs and prayers he can get. I hate, hate, hate thinking about taking him there in the morning and dropping him off and leaving him because I know he's going to be so stressed. He hasn't even recovered from yesterday yet. But it is the best thing in the world for him. And they are so wonderful and so nice there. And everybody came by to meet him and, and just wanted to love on him. So um, he, he'll be okay. I know he'll be okay. His mama is probably going to go through more than he is. Gypsy Soul Wonders says, how much solar do you have on your rig? Uh, I, my, I am selling Fancy Free. She will have 200 watts of solar and an AGM battery. I will end up with 500 watts of solar and three AGM batteries in the RV. Uh, so whoever gets fancy free will get lots of solar and a battery. And uh, on my, um, uh, what I'm calling my forever home, it will have 500 watts of solar and 300 um, amp hours. Um, so, uh, so let's see. Uh, Oh, that's sweet. And I can hear all the comments and I can't catch up. A hugs for Deborah, too. Aw, oh, thank you. I love that. I'll, I'll meet it. <laughs> oh, and uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm laughing at some of y'all's comments. They're so funny. And, um,. Good job, mods. That's right. You go, babies. Uh, my mods are the best in the world. Uh, travels. <laughs> travels says, quit deleting so fast. No, Travels. They they are whack a troll and they're awesomeness. <laughs> they, they they get rid of them as pa fast as they they pop up. Bye, bye, Carrie Jo and some others. I, I appreciate you being on here and, and saying goodbye to me. I'm sorry I I'm behind on um, on comments. Um, um, the, um, I don't want to speak for the RV park, Lori. I'm answering you because you asked twice, uh, but I, I don't want to speak for for the RV park. And um, and and then if I, I say what they're charging me, and then and then I'd have to share where I'm at, and I, I just don't want to get into that. I'm sorry. Uh, you can call around and and get different prices, and plus it changes whether or not you're going to be here daily, weekly, monthly, whether or not you're going to be on site or whether or not you're traveling. And so there's just a lot involved in it. I would just tell you what I would say about RV parks is 
picking a, a location where you want to go and then uh, use uh, Yelp, um, uh, all of the different apps uh, to call around and check on, um, uh, you know, Campendium, all the different ones, and then call the RV parks. And also it changes if you have some different memberships. You can have um, AAA, you can have Good Sam, you can have do different things. And they all charge differently depending on that. So um, I, I'm not saying the price on purpose. But you can call around and, um, uh, and find out. Um, and, 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 uh, or email me. And, and I'm happy to tell my friends privately. But I'm not going to say it on um, the internet. So Travel says, when are you having a homewarming get-together? That would be December 6th through 12th in Quartzsite, Arizona, if we are still, if it's safe to have a gathering. And I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. And um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, hello, Lola. You're welcome anytime, whether you are late. Or I just appreciate you stopping by, darling. Thank you. Love you, my friend. And, um, oh, Brenda says she PayPal'd me some money. So that is two people that I know of. I don't have my uh, phone to be able to check it tonight for PayPal Super Chat com contributions. So I know that Lori and Brenda have, have done that. And Quilter1643 is saying, is there any news about my property? And that will be on Monday's video, you guys. The auction is over, so check into Monday's video and learn all about that process. Woohoo! Um, so, um, Anne, Anne says she missed it from earlier. Is Robert having uh, van issues? Let's see. Uh, he is. He, um, he, that's why he's not here tonight. Uh, his, his, um, his mechanic called and was able to squeeze him in. And so they're trying one more thing to see if they can get it fixed. And if not, then he's going to, he's up a creek, big creek. And, uh, so yeah, whack-a-mole troll. <laughs> that my, I, have, I have the best mods in the world. They're good at whacking those trolls. Um, so, um, uh, let's see. And they're also good at answering you guys. Thank you, mods, for answering everybody when I couldn't get to it. Um, and, oh, Gypsy So Wonders, that is so sweet of you. Thank you. Um, I, I, I don't know that I want in life what I deserve, but I sure am blessed, and I sure am enjoying my, no, my new home immensely. Um, so, um. Uh, Let's see. Uh, oh, thank you, Noreen, for the meetup link again. Uh, I, that that's awesomeness. And um, uh, Johnny's journeys. I'm sorry to hear that. Hang in there, honey. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, you guys, I think that that is it for tonight. I can't think of anything else. Um, that I, I wanted to uh, uh, tell you guys about this week. Uh, wish me luck with the air conditioner guy on Tuesday. I've got a mechanic that has already started work on um, the engine for uh, some uh, carburetor missing issues and stuff. And uh, he's gonna work on the on the, the, um, the rear end axle and stuff. And so I've got, and, and all the moving in is still going on. So, so lots still going on. I mean, we're just uh, having a uh, having a party. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I did that and bandit jumped. I'm sorry. I didn't know that would be so loud. I appreciate the uh, the the prayers, Lavona, and for uh, checking in uh, uh, with us tonight. And oh my goodness, travels! I did not know that you were recovering from two broken ankles, my darling. I'm so glad you're on here, and we all send you uh, best wishes. Hey, look who joined me. Look, everybody. He's up. How long are you up for? Huh? How long are you up for? Can you say hi to everybody? He just, he's like, I'm just not a happy camper. Um, and so, yes, he, um, he he goes to back to the vet at 730 in the morning. And um, we, we're uh, and uh, I'll get all, all I'll keep taking care of the home so he has a nice place. And I'm so glad that you guys like our home. And I'm so blessed, uh, so blessed that you're here. And I'm so grateful that everybody is here. And um, oh, uh, Beth, that is such a sweet thing to say. 
I appreciate that. Love you and um, it, and and best wish. And Lori says best wishes for Robert's van. I appreciate that. And my friend Steve Meeks and them uh, thinking of Bandit me and sending prayers. Thank you, Steve and Beverly. All right, everybody. Uh, what time Monday? I assume that you are asking about um, the um, uh, the video for uh, about the property and the auction and everything, and that will go up uh, in the late afternoon. So everybody have a terrific night, and I love you. Thank you for being here. Please like this video, like my channel, subscribe, and share. Thanks, everybody. Good night. Can you say bye? Huh? Nope. You going to lay back down? Okay. Bye.